us, the word that, glory to God, will give us hope, the word that will give us a, a, a determination to continue to push forward, even in the midst of what is going on in our world today, that we will have a heart's desire to be all that you're calling us to be, and that we will continue in Jesus' name, glory to God, to even spread the word. So now bless the word to the hearers. God, that we be not only hearers, that we will become doers of your word, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. I thank God always for a spirit that dwells in the place, yeah. amen. amen. And we should never ever, amen, neglect to honor and to respect and also to entertain the spirit of God. When you, when you know it's here, amen, you give worship, you give praise, you give adoration, 
You get all the things that God is expecting from you, amen, to honor his presence in our midst, amen. See, you can't go everywhere and find the spirit of God, amen, glory to God, amen. present. And see, it comes, amen, that it may, glory to God, bless you, honor you, and, and glory to God, it brings certain things to you. And we have to learn that when the spirit of God is present, that we pull certain things from it, amen. The things that we really need, because some of you are sitting here and you have need, but you have to learn, amen, how to get into the presence of God and get what you need. Yeah. Amen, glory to God. And so today I'm going to be talking more, amen, because I can't stop talking about this trusting God. Amen, glory to God. But today I want to talk about the ability to trust God. Amen, glory to God. And we have to develop that ability, amen. And it's not going to just come overnight, amen, glory to God. But actually some of us who have been saved a long time, still don't have that ability to trust God, amen, when things come to our lives and when things, amen, glory to God, show up in our lives, we immediately, amen, rely on the natural, amen, or our natural ability or the people that we know or the people that are around us, amen, to, 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 to do what needs to be done in our lives and we fail to trust God, you know, because before the people can move, anybody that you know, anybody that is in your life, before they can move, amen, glory to God, it has to be through God ordering it. Amen, glory to God. So trusting God causes God to order certain individuals into your life to do certain things for you. Amen. amen, glory to God. They don't show up because they are your best friend. They don't show up because you ain't no best friend. They show up because their steps are ordered by the Lord. Because you have trusted God, then God can summon certain things to you, certain people to you. Are you listening to me? Certain actions towards you. Amen. Glory to God. Because you are trusting God. So he can say to the hosts of heaven, go to the rescue of this individual. He can say to the host of angels, amen, that listens for his voice and his direction, glory to God, to go and to aid, amen, and to assist you in your situation because you have trusted God in that man. Are you listening? And now because we are going through so much, amen, things that we've never faced in life before, I don't know about you, but that's what I'm having to deal with, amen. Things that I've never faced in life before, glory to God. I'm having now, glory to God, to see those things. And, and God knows that some of those things are bizarre. And some of those things are a little crazy, amen, glory to God. But we still, amen, got to up our trust level and believe and trust God, amen. And we can't even begin to wrap our minds around some of the stuff, glory to God, that we're having to deal with. Because if you try to wrap your mind around it, you're going to lose your mind, amen. And so you got to get to the place where you trust and you believe God to work it all out. Amen. It's easy to trust God than it is anyone else. Yeah. Amen. amen, glory to God. So the ability to trust God, we develop this ability to trust God, amen, to take him at his word. That's why we come every Sunday. That's why we own online on Wednesdays, and we are in prayer, amen, because we are taking God at his word, yeah. amen. You see, everything is going to fail, amen, glory to God, and no point in you thinking that in another year is going to be fixed, amen, but everything is going to yeah. fail, but the word of God is going to remain true. Amen. We're coming to the place now where God is showing himself, amen, and God wants to do what he's already promised us that he would do. He wants, amen, the miracles that he has promised us to begin, amen, to fall upon us and reign in our midst, reign in our lives. He wants all these things, amen, that he's spoken of in his word to become a reality to us. But what he wants most of all is for us to get lined up in our trust act and believing. See, because when you start believing and trusting God, your life starts to change. Yeah. And he wants us to get lined up to trusting him so that, amen, when he pour out, amen, that he can rain down on you. Now, if he pours out and you're not in a trusting state, Amen. You're going to end up missing what God has for you. Are you with me? Amen. Glory to God. So he wants us to have the ability to trust him. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He wants, amen, glory to God, us to pursue 
Ah, my God, and to love and to know him like we never have before. Amen. Glory to God. And we got to, amen, let go of the things that we trusted in in the past. Amen. Because we know they have failed us. You know, sometimes we like to uh, have people. You say, well, I know if, if I can't trust them, I might ride or die. Your ride or die is dead. Amen. Glory to God. And unless God, amen, give them the ability to be a help to you, then it won't come. Yes. Listen. Amen. Glory to God. So he wants us to pursue him. Amen. He wants us to love him. Amen. amen. Just like he pursues and love us. Now you say, well, God don't pursue me. Yes, he does. Every single day, God is pursuing you. Now you may not be paying attention and you may not be hearing and you may not be seeing, but God is in pursuit of you. God loves you. If he was did not love you, amen, that he would have Overlook the fact that you needed to open your eyes this morning. He would overlook the fact that you needed breath in your body today. But God loves you and he's constantly pursuing you and rowing you into relationship with him. Yeah. Yeah. So that you can trust. How many looking for great things from God? Yeah. How many looking for the miracle? Oh, how many looking for the promise of God to come into being? How many of you are looking for God to do great things in your life? Amen. Now, see, this is the lining up part. Amen. Glory to God. Because when God gets to pouring out, amen, my God, my God, he's going to pour out upon his people. He's going to bless his people. Amen. Glory to God. And so we got to get lined up, amen, and in order so that these blessings can come upon us. See, God loves you and wants to spend time with you. See, this is how we develop the ability to trust God. Amen. We got to spend time with him. See, the reason why you don't trust him because you don't know his word. The reason why you don't trust him because you don't know his nature. You don't know his character. You don't know what he will and what he will not do. And therefore, amen, when things start to happen in your life, you can't believe God like you ought to and trust God like you should because you started looking at God like he's a common man. See, I want to say this out loud. You start looking at God like he's a common man, and you won't trust him, and you won't believe him, amen, no matter who's saying what or doing what, amen. God wants you, amen, to exalt him above all of that stuff and begin to believe and trust in him because he can do all things. I'm going to believe that. See, we sit here and we say we believe in you are my cheering squad today, glory to God. But when that trial comes and you're by yourself, what do you do, amen? How do you react? What do you say, glory to God? Do you automatically say, I trust God regardless of what this looks like? Because, see, we have the tendency to go by what we can see. But God is a man that you cannot see that you are ordered to trust. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. You are asked to trust a man that you cannot see. And so somebody, for some of y'all, it's hard to trust those you can see. But God is asking you to trust him. You cannot see him. And sometimes you cannot see him at work. But he's always working. And he's always by your side. And he's saying, just trust him. So what you got to do, you got to wrap your mind around the fact that I must trust something that I cannot see. But I know it's real. Something. Yeah. Now ain't that something? See, see when you start thinking about that, because the people who walk by sight, they in trouble. Mm -hmm. They in trouble because you want to see it before you believe it. Yeah. But God is saying, Amen, glory to God. You ain't got to see it, just believe it because his word says so. Because his word has, amen, demonstrated that he's a man that he should not, that he shall not lie. Yeah. Glory to God, and he's a son of man that he should not repent. He already let us know that. And so, amen, just like you have the ability to imagine other things, yeah. then go ahead, amen, glory to God, and trust and believe in God. Yeah. Above those other things. Yeah. Amen. And so... The more time you spend with God, the more you get to know him. Amen. If you don't spend any time with him, because you know, some of us don't read our word. Some of us won't pray. Some of us won't study. Some of us, amen. Some of us, we can choose when we will come to church and when we not. But all of that, amen, is a collaboration of us trusting God, of us getting into the presence of God, in the place of God where we begin to understand who he is, amen, and understand how he works, amen. Even though we will never, ever get it all, but we're good enough to trust him. Amen. Are you with me? Yeah. 
Amen, glory to God. And so, amen, we have to know him. And, 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 and the more that you get to know him, the more you get to know, amen, glory to God, or the more you get to realize that it's easier to trust him. You see, and that's why sometimes you don't trust people because you don't get to know them, that person. You, you just are seeing people far off and making a judgment call. You don't really get to know them, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah. So you don't really get to trust them. And sometimes God gives you a trusting friend. That husband and wife, they are trusting friends. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Amen, glory to God. And no matter what takes place, you know that you can trust your spouse. Yeah. You know, or at least you should know this, amen, that you can trust your husband, you can trust your wife, amen. But they never, ever get above God, amen, because it's God who will give them the ability, amen, glory to God, give you all the ability to trust one another yeah. and to trust the God in you. I listen. So it's a beautiful thing, amen, when we get to know God and we begin to trust. See, the trust uh, him is to believe in him, amen. And a lot of times we, we believe in him only when we're in church, amen. But when we're outside of this con this atmosphere that conduces faith, amen, that conduces uh, our, 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 our our uh, faith and belief, amen. When we get outside, amen, we don't have each other. We don't have the same uh, uh, glorious place, amen, where we gather and this place where the presence of God is. We're out there and we're in the world, glory to God, and we're on our own. But you still should have the trusting factor with you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. yes. When you hear bad news. Because bad news coming forth all the time. And God knows that we pay attention to that stuff. We really be losing our mind. But God's saying, I'm teaching you now to trust me because it's more to come. Huh? Y'all y'all think it ain't more to come, but it's more to come. Before, amen, I, I'm not even going to say before this world get better because it's not going to get better. What is going to happen is going to get more like what the word says it, it is yes, going to talk to. Amen. So what God is saying, I want my children fast down. I want my children, amen, anchored. I want my children, amen, in a safe zone, in a safe place, glory to God. And that place is in the mind, the heart, and in the soul, amen, to know that no matter what, what happens that God is for you. Yeah. Yeah. And God is on your side. Amen. So he wants us to believe him. To trust him is to believe in him. Amen. And, and, and to believe in his word and believe in his ability. Some of us don't know what God's ability is because we have not allowed God to show us his ability. Because we're so busy running and trying to fix stuff. And we're so busy, amen, glory to God, trying to get rid of the things that come to make us strong. Amen, glory to God. We don't know the ability of God. We hear other people talk about it, but we don't know it for ourselves. And I always say, amen, and sometimes when I say this, amen, some of y'all feel some kind of way about it. But I say every one of us should have an experience with God that we'll never forget. Amen. We should all have. And what does that experience do? It, when bad times come, it takes us back to remember what God is able to do. Amen. You know, when Minister Bola told us on last week yes. about his situation on I-95, you know, that is an experience he'll never forget. Amen. And when he get in a hard place and when he get in a difficult place, a tight place, amen. He's going to remember what God did for him on 95, and he's going to kick in that trust factor, even the greater glory to God. And so we got to let God give us those kind of experiences so we won't be lost when certain things start to happen to us. Amen. Thank you, you know, I, I never forget yeah. on 95 that, that money fell from the sky. Yeah. Oh, and I, I'm never broke. Amen. Glory to God. I'm never broke because I'm always remembering what God did to me on 95. What God did for me on 95. Amen. And so when money gets low, I think about 95 experience that God can rain money from heaven. Now a lot of you say money don't grow on trees and it don't rain down. But I had an experience when money rained down and therefore I trust God in my finances. Are you with me? Glory to God. And so you must have your experiences. Hey, and I put an ask on it. Amen. Glory to God. That will remind you and teach you. Amen. And give you the ability to trust God that no matter what comes into your life, you can get that pink slip. But guess what? God got another job lined up. Y'all want to die because certain things happen. Y'all want to go through changes because certain people say certain stuff. 
stuff and do certain stuff. Amen. But you forget about trusting God. God is never going to take anything from you that he's not willing to give back more. Amen. I remember the double for your trouble. Amen. But as soon as you lose something that you have become familiar with, you want to think, amen, glory to God, that God is not blessing you, that God is not doing anything for you, that God is not on your side. But I come to tell you, amen, God has to remove some things from you. he got to take it from you. Because if he don't take it, you're going to try to live with it forever. If he don't remove it and uncover it, you're going to always try to be with it. And so he, because he's asked you kindly, amen, glory to God, to depart from it and to leave it alone and to forget about it, glory to God, and to submit it to prayer, you still got your hands in it. We still think we can fix things that only God can. Oh, somebody needs to say hallelujah. You still think you can fix things that only God can fix. You can't fix it. Turn it over and trust God. You tried, you've been at it for many years, and all it's doing is driving you crazy. Give it to the Lord, amen, glory to God. Take him at his word, amen. Glory to God. Only God got the strength to deal with some of the stuff, amen, that try to come at us. Uh, sometimes I don't even deal with it. I say, I turn it over to the Lord, amen, glory to God. Why? Because I know I'm not able. And I turn it over to God, and then I have peace. Because some of us turn it over to God and we still worry about it. And we still try to fix it. And we still, still try to do things. We still, amen, try to do the work of the Lord. Some work only God can do. Yes, See, God knows everything. Yes, the Bible says that he cannot lie. He knows everything, amen, everything that we go through. Amen, glory to God, every moment that we're going through. He knows before you know. Yes, amen. yes. Are you with me? Yeah. He knew before you know. Now, sometimes God will put people on earth to give you warning, yeah. to tell you, nah, don't do that. Nah, hold your, hold, hold, hold your horses. He'll tell you things like, amen, wait. He'll tell you, you know, he'll give you little clues, amen, as you're going through life, amen. But then there are some things, amen, that we forge ahead on anyway, amen, glory to God. And God know you're going to do it, amen, glory to God. And he also knows that he got to put some lessons there so that you won't forge ahead of him again, amen, but that you will trust him and wait on him and rely on him. You try to work out for you, yeah. it's not gonna work. Yeah. Are you listening? It's not gonna work for you. It's not going to, amen, go the way that you want it to go. But God has a way. See, He knows the best way to handle every situation, amen, so that we can get the best outcome. Amen. Did you hear what I said? But see, you've never been loved like this before. Amen. Somebody may tell somebody, you ain't never had no love like this before. And that's why you're having issues with it. Amen. You want to look at God like you look at man or like you look at woman. You ain't never been loved like this before. Amen. Come on. And that's where the problem is. You still trying to, amen, glory to God, wait, wait man's love up against God's love, it'll never ever measure up, amen. Because God's love go far beyond any love that man can give, amen. amen. Glory to God, hallelujah. And so when God say, trust me, depend on me, believe in me, that I know what is best for you, and I know the beginning of the end for you, amen, glory to God. You got to trust that love, amen, and as you get to know him, amen, he begins to teach you about him, amen, glory to God, and then your ability to trust him gets greater. Yes. Amen. See, that's yes. how husband and wife, you know, when they first start out, Come on, uh, Mr. and Ms. Raines, amen, I'm going to talk to you. When the love first start out, amen, it's a little bumpy, you know. I give it five years, and then I get a little bumpy. Oh, you had your honeymoon period, don't misunderstand me. But then after a while, you got to get down to the nitty-gritty of things, amen. And so you're learning each other. Come on, y'all, man, you better help me. I'm going to do it. And y'all say, and then, then you find out some things you don't like about them. Uh, glory to God, I mean, you find out some things you love about them. But now you're working through it, amen, and you're smoothing it out, amen. And you're getting to the point, glory to God, hallelujah, where it's not so bumpy, and you can definitely rely on one another, and you know one another. You can say that I know without a doubt that my baby, my lover, my spouse will not do this, amen, because you've got some things worked out, and you've got
God, amen, some knowledge of each other, amen. Glory to God that you can go through. And that's what God is trying to tell you about him. I want you to get some knowledge about me. I want you to know, first of all, that I'm working for your good. I'm working on your side. I am, amen, for you, glory to God. And if you really get to know me like they do in the first five years of marriage, uh, then you will know, glory to God, hallelujah, that when things go on in your life, amen, you can call on me and I'll be there as a rescuer for you. See, as a rescuer for you, I'll bring you out. Amen, glory to God. And I'll bring you out with the best possible outcome. Some of y'all don't trust God, I'll come for you. Because see, you're so steep on what you want, how you want it. Some of y'all want stuff so bad, you got it now, you don't want it. You wish somebody come and haul it away. But I ain't taking it away. Ain't nobody taking it away. You got to go through this thing now, glory to God. But we got to realize without a doubt that when we love, when we love God and we get to know God and we get to know God's ability and we get to know his character and we, we you know, it's hard to, to learn love. Did y'all know that? Oh, yeah, I, think, yeah. I was thinking today, I was, I, when I was young, I was in love with this man, I thought. Uh-huh. Probably age 13 to no, probably 17. Right. Uh-huh. Lord have mercy, I loved that person. <laughs> and I dreamed of spending my life with him. Uh-huh. But was I a fool or what? Go with the God, I ain't nothing but no love. Glory. <laughs> All I knew is I had a feeling. Yes. And that feeling will not that good, amen, when it start measuring to what I would have to go through to prove that love. And see, amen, and some of us, amen, we don't want to go through what we got to through, go through, amen, so that God can prove his love to us. You know, some of us never ever got to know God's love. It was just probably in recent events and recent things that we really got to feel and to really know that God loves us. Because a lot of times we judge love against whether we are, amen, glory to God, a failure or a success. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. But yes. see, God loves you in both. Yes, he does. He loves you in both. Yes. He has an unconditional love. Yes. And see, you, you, you can fail and he still can love you, Sister Mullins. Yes. Amen, glory. And what is he loving you? Loving you back to hope. Yes. Loving you back to what he has called you to be. Yes. And a lot of times we judge ourselves harshly. When we fail, we think that nobody loves us and nobody can receive us and nobody can do, amen, glory to God, can love us anymore. But God is trying to tell you that I'm going to love you to fullness. I'm going to love you to greatness. I'm going to love you to wholeness, glory to God. And so when we fail, we don't hide from God, but we show ourselves to God so that he can make us whole. That's a part of the ability of trusting God. So if he never ever did anything to fix you with your perfect self, glory to God, then you wouldn't know about disability. Are you with me? The only time we know about the ability when we had when we had the need to be worked on. See, I know about the ability because I had a need to be worked on. I had a need for God to do something for me. I had a need, amen, for God to show me some stuff. But if you already think you know, you will never ever learn of the ability of God, amen, glory to God, which will bring you into a total trust factor with God. God. If I ask to show of hands how many of y'all trust God, all of you will raise your hand. That's right. That's right. And you will be partially truthful. And you will only be truthful as far as you're able to imagine. You'll only be truthful as far as you're able to think or to know. But to really trust God is to give everything you got to God. To give everything over to God. And not hold anything for yourself. See, you have to trust God even with your, oh, Lord, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Even with your food. That's why we pray over our food before we eat it. Glory to God, because I'm trusting God that nothing, amen, shall by any means hurt me when I take this internally in me. But some of you gobble down and you never bless it. You never, you got to trust God. The word of God said all things, amen. Glory to God, we got to give thanks to Jesus. And see, and we have to practice that and able to be able to have the ability to trust God. Now many of you say, yeah, I trust God, but do you really? If something was to happen right now, who would be the first person to call? Call my mama. Call my daddy. Tell my sister. 
Call my best friend. They can't really do anything for you. But you got to trust God. You got to trust God in children of yours. You got to trust God in man doing God. And see, the more you look at them, the worse they get, right? Yeah, the more you look at them, the worse they get, right? But if you trust God with them, when you can look at them, you can look at them and love them because you know God's doing the work for them. Yeah? That's how that works. Because, you know, we can look at things and get very disappointed. Yeah. Anybody know what I'm talking yeah. about? Sometimes, amen, I look at stuff because I know what God has already spoken for us. Yeah. You look at all these empty seats, amen. It can be very discouraging. But I don't look at the seats anymore yeah. because I trust God. If God said, I'm going to fill them, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, yeah. then I have to trust him. I don't care if I'm 80 years old, glory to God, or 180. Yeah. However long he, yeah. he allows me to live, amen. Glory to God. He said he's going to fill the seats, and guess what? Every seat has a soul in it. Yeah. 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 And that's how we got to learn to think. You say, well, it's silly to think like that. It's, 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 it's an element of deception. No, it's not. It's an element of faith. Yeah. Those things that you do not see. Amen. Glory to God. And so sometimes we, we let the enemy play games on us. Tell me, do you believe something you can't see? Yeah, I believe things I can't see. I never saw money fall from heaven. But guess what? It happened. So y'all want to go along with what you see. Every time God gives you a word, you got to understand that there's an enemy that works against that word. He started to show you something different than what God has spoken. You got to amen, glory to God. And it's easy to believe him because he'll deal in the natural realm with you all day because remember, he's known you a long time. But you got to realize this, amen, glory to God, that no matter what the devil said, God says, and I trust God. Do you hear me, Sister Corinthians? I trust God. And if God said it, it's going to come to pass. I don't care how much the enemy tell me it's a lie or that I'm fooling myself, amen, glory to God. Because sometimes you tell you, you just chicken yourself. Is faith really real? Y'all make that happen? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, faith. And you need to say it out loud. No matter where you are, yeah, faith is real. Glory to God, but some of you are too quiet with what the devil tries to do to you, amen. Sometimes you just got to scream out where everybody around you think you done went crazy. Glory to God, hallelujah, because the devil be tormenting you, amen, glory to God, in your mind, glory to God, telling you that God is not going to do what he said he's going to do. And I've already told you that God is not a man that he shall lie. Amen. Amen. He don't do it, baby. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. And the more you get to know him, the more you develop the ability to trust him. The more you get into his presence, the more you want to trust him. The more you may, the, the closer you get to him, the more, amen, glory to God, you are sanctioned with your trust and your, your ability to believe God. A lot of you are too far away, amen, to trust him. You are too far in the background, amen, to believe what he said is true for your life, amen. But I say come close to the fire. Come on up, glory to God, hallelujah, and let the fire engulf you. My God, in your ability to trust God for the impossible shall come to pass. Yeah. You, can't, you can't be trusting God at all. You got to learn to cry out to God. You got to learn to run from evil. Amen. You got to put God first in your life. Glory to God. You got to check yourself by God's word. Amen. Glory to God. We got to stop being deceived by the enemy. Check yourself by the word of God. You got to listen to the Holy Spirit. Amen. And read the Holy Scriptures. Amen. And then, my friend, you have to rest in God's love. Amen. Yes. Some of you are not resting. Yes. You're in a tizzy. Jesus. Rub it down. Yeah. It all depends. Right now you're chilling. Because yeah. you have to hear what I'm saying. Yeah. But what you going to do when you get home? Yeah. And you lock that door behind you. Yeah. Run and you know, see, the enemy love to speak to you when you're by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Tell me all kinds of lies. Yeah, yeah he's doing this and she doing that. Yeah. And this happened and that happened. And you know the devil can make some things real. Just yeah. one little thing, yeah. amen, that comes along and make you, make you think that what the, what the devil has said is true. But you've got to trust God and you got to believe God. See, because only those that really believe and trust God is going to make heaven their home. Yeah. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yeah. And look, stop. I'm saying this for a specific somebody. Stop believing Stop. Did I 
that says right. You got to stop looking at somebody else. All right. All right. Huh? And deciding what the outcome of the study will be. All right. You got to take your eyes off of them. Yeah. Because if you keep your eyes on them, your faith and your trust will always be like this. Okay. Are you listening? Yeah. Up and down, right? Because you see something crazy, right? Yeah. And you say, well, God wants you to totally take your eyes off of them. Are you in their business anyway? Uh -huh. And he wants you to focus on you. Yeah. And why are you focusing on you? He got opportunity to fix them. Yeah. Yeah. You know who I was talking to. <laughs> he got opportunity then to fix them because you ain't in the mix. Because you up in there running your mouth, as soon as God fixed them, you say, I prayed them through. The devil is alive. You know what God did it for me. God did it. And he said he don't let no man take his glory. Yeah. And so a lot of times we're busy looking at other things, other people, other situations yeah. that we can't focus on us yeah. and do what we need to do in order for us to get ourselves in a place where we have the ability to trust. Yeah. You know, why did you bring a message today about the ability to trust? Because we say we trust, but really we don't. And you can look at how when things hit you. Yeah. See, that's how you can tell whether you're totally trusting God. Yeah. When some bad news come, mm -hmm. now good news come, y'all shouting all the place, trusting yeah. God, y'all doing all kinds of stuff. Yeah. You know, but I'm talking about bad news now. Yeah. When bad news come, what is the first thing you begin to think about? And what is the first thing that starts to happen with you? That tells you where your level of trust is, yeah. where your ability to trust God, that tells you. You say, well, everything's going good right now, but live on. Glory to God, hallelujah. And you're going to face something. And God don't allow us to face the negativities to take us out. But, amen, to increase our ability, Sister Corinthian, to trust him. Amen. Increase. Now, I know some of you throughout this last year have actually seen it. You have developed a great trust. You ain't arrived. Don't misunderstand because ain't none of us arrived. That's true. But you have developed a greater trust. You ain't crying as much as you used to cry. Remember, y'all said, make me sick. You crying about everything. Can you tell me the story without boohooing? And I'm like, well, what is the, the well, tell me what it is you want me to know. Uh, I can't discern that. I have no interpretation of that. Amen. Glory to God. But you, you ain't crying as much. Amen. Glory to God. And my phone ain't ringing off the hook as much as it used to. So that tells me yeah. that you're developing more of the ability to trust God. Amen. And God is pleased with that. He's pleased with that because he wants every one of his children to develop that ability to trust him. Yeah. 